Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I have compiled a list of products that I tried out in September and I absolutely loved. I'm trying to get something out of my vanity and it is stuck. It is just full. <laughs> I just ordered a bunch of stuff from Ikea and that's coming in in two days and I can't wait to transfer everything because this setup that I have is just not working. I literally cannot get this open. How am I supposed to show you my favorites? What is it? What is it that's doing this? Okay, that took like five minutes. Moving on, the first product I have is the House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade Rose Quartz. Let me just show you guys how stunning this is close up. I absolutely love this. It is beautiful on its own as just a blush. It is a little bit sheer, but still you get a lot of pigment, but it especially looks gorgeous as a topper. I'm wondering if I should show you right now, but I am already so, so glowy. But you know what, let me show you. I don't even know if you can tell how beautiful this is because I'm already so glowy, but no, it is just stunning. I absolutely love this. I want more colors and it's making me want to try the entire House Labs line. Okay, up next is the Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. I love this. It is beautiful. I'm wearing it today. It is such a beautiful, natural skin-like finish, but it's so radiant, so glowy. I wore this to work the other day and people were like, wow, you look so pretty. You look so glowy. I was like, why is everyone saying I look pretty? Like, what's different? And one of them said, oh, you, you're just like glowing. So I've come to the conclusion that it was this because nothing else was different. Moving on to the First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. I absolutely love this moisturizer. It is my favorite moisturizer ever. I have so many moisturizers and this is what I reach for every, Every morning, every night, it is amazing. I think it's for dry skin. I have combo oily, but I still love this. It just makes my skin feel so good. And like, if I put it on at night, my skin the next morning will look so beautiful. I don't know, this, this, is, this is like magic. I highly, highly recommend trying this. I do know that there's a Sephora, like one of those little value sets right now with this. I'm gonna show you right here. I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this. I've got two lip liners on the list. One of them is this Dior Lip Crayon. I picked up two shades. I have the shade Brown Fig and then the shade Nude Look. I love the shade Brown Fig. I think Nude Look is a little bit light for me. Brown Fig is beautiful, perfect, gorgeous. I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like because I cannot find it right now. It is in one of my purses because I wore it recently. It's been like a go-to. So it's in one of my bags and I can't find which one. I'm a little panicked, but that's okay. I know she'll turn up somewhere, but I just love the lip liner. First of all, the shade is beautiful. Such a beautiful brown nude. Second of all, it is so long wearing. I filmed a wear test on my TikTok and I think I wore it for like 12 hours without retouching and it was still hanging on and I had lip gloss on. Lip gloss always makes your lip liner like just fade so much faster. I had lip gloss on and it still lasted 12 hours through an entire shift. So I'm very, very happy with it. I have these two Pat McGrath lip pencils. It's called the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil. I have the shade Contour and Structure. Both are stunning. Both are like a nude shade. Um, here, I'll swatch them for you. So this is in the shade Structure. And here we have Contour. That's just a NYX lip liner that I'm wearing today. These along with the Dior here, I'll show you actually. See, I just wish it was a little bit darker, but these along with the Dior are so, so long wearing. Once this dries down, I'm gonna do a little smudge test for you guys and just show you how long wearing these lip liners truly are. I have two lipsticks on the list that are drugstore, so pretty affordable. This first one is Maybelline 920 Nude Lust, and the second one is the L'Oreal Color Riche in the shade 800 Ferris Nude. These are both a like nudie pink. Let me swatch them for you. So this is the L'Oreal Nude Lust. Beautiful, like a nice nude pink. I really like the formula as well. It's very hydrating. And then here is the Maybelline. Very similar, but I think just a little bit, hello? But I think just a little bit lighter. I'm wearing the Maybelline one today. So, so pretty. And again, very hydrating. I love these and they are such a good price. I'm literally covered in swatches. Okay, let me show you the lip liner though. So 
those are the Dior and the Pat McGrath, not budging, and then that's the NYX Line Loud. And they're just not budging and it's just uh, so good. Okay, here's another drugstore product. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I love this, it is so beautiful on the skin. Wait, I have a lot of like skin products. I just realized, that's okay. It is beautiful on the skin, it feels very hydrating. I picked it up in the shade 4.5 to 5.5. It's a little bit dark for me right now, as you can see. But when I got it, I had a little bit of my tan left over and also I do fake tan, so it's fine. But I just love this. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. I also like it mixed with other foundations just to like make them a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more blendable. I have some thicker foundations like the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Foundation. I love that one, but it is a little bit thick and I feel like when I mix it with this, I still get beautiful coverage, but it's just a little bit more blendable, a little bit more hydrating. So I really, truly love this. Okay, here's the next complexion product and it is covered in fingerprints. Um, this is the Patrick Ta Major Face in the shade Light Medium One. So this is a little cream foundation powder duo. Again, this is for when I'm a little bit more tanned, but it actually does sheer out quite a bit when you blend it in. Um, very skin-like, natural finish, stunning, and I love that it comes with a little powder. It's, they're just so convenient. He has a bunch of like duos like this, like a contour and a blush, and they're just so convenient because I always like to work in a cream and then a powder layer, so I love this. It's surprisingly long wearing, and if you do need to touch up, you can just throw it in your bag, literally. So convenient. Here's another Patrick Ta duo. I have had this forever, as you can tell. It, it's been loved. So it's not something I tried out in the last couple of months, but it is something that I had not reached for in a while. And then in like August or September, I just grabbed it and I have not been able to use anything since. I have been loving this contour. The contour shade is beautiful. Such a good, like cool sculpting shade. And then the bronzer shade, very nice, adds some warmth to the face. It's just so convenient. I absolutely love this product. Okay, here's another Patrick Ta product. Again, a little duo, but this is the Major Headlines Blush. This is in the shade, She's a Doll. How beautiful is this shade? I'm actually wearing one of his blushes right now and how beautiful was it? Just super glowy. But this shade is one of my favorites. I love, love, love a baby, but I love a baby doll pink and this is just so, so beautiful. I love the cream as well. What Patrick Ta does is like apply the powder first and then the cream for like a very dewy glow and that is what it gives. Like again, I'm wearing one of the little blush duos today and how glowy do I look? To be fair, I do still have the Lady Gaga highlighter on but you saw how glowy I was before too. So I really, really love the little blush duos. I feel like I'm talking so fast so that I can get through everything before my camera dies. Okay, here is a skincare product. So this is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I really, really like this. I saw a few TikToks of people like using it and raving about how like beautiful it made their skin. And they showed pictures too of like their skin a few weeks ago and then today and it's just like, all the hyperpigmentation is gone. I have a lot of like blemishes from previous breakouts. So I've been trying to find a product to help and I really think this is making a huge difference. Like a lot of the hyperpigmentation I had is gone. I'm still breaking out so it's not like helping in that sense but it is getting rid of the hyperpigmentation. So I love this. And I also love a spray product, like something you could just spray on. Love this product. Okay, moving on to this Tarte bronzer. This is the Shape Tape Glow Bronzer. It is so beautiful. I have it on today. I absolutely love the glow this gives. It makes me look so, so beautiful, sun-kissed, just like vacation glow. So beautiful, and I love the formula as well. It's very easy to blend. A lot of bronzers I have do tend to like cling to some patches, but this one does not do that. I absolutely love it. These are the Kiss Ruffle Lashes. As you can see, well loved. I'm down to my last pair. I have been wearing these so much this month. I'm wearing them today. How 
this is just like as a half lash just so wispy so beautiful even like as a full-on lash they're beautiful but i just prefer a half lash absolutely love these i'm going to walmart this week to stock up because i cannot have just one left moving on this is not one item this is multiple items but i just wanted to talk about the bk beauty brushes if you watch my videos you know that i use these all the time i absolutely love them they were sent to me in the summertime i don't remember when either june or july and ever since i have been absolutely obsessed they're just so so soft and another thing is that i love the shape of so many of them so this is the 101 brush i use this for foundation every day it's like kind of angled I just love the angle. I feel like it makes blending my foundation so much easier. Again, super soft, blends out my foundation like a dream. Even like the powder brushes just help blend my makeup so, so easily. Here's one I love for concealer because again, it's got that little like flat angle. I love, love this. And a special shout out to their little eyeliner brush. This is the 208 brush. This brush is amazing for any sort of like wing, whether you're working with a gel or a shadow, or even if you're using it to draw on some brow hairs, it is just so, so thin. It's really very precise, so easy to work with. Very, very good quality brushes. Absolutely love them. Okay, this again, I think I tried out in like June, but this is the Lancome Tient, the Tient, Tient Idol Ultra Wear. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, I am not very good with the French, but this is in the shade Buff. It is an amazing, amazing concealer. It is like creaseless, probably one of my all-time favorite concealers. Like I said, it doesn't crease. The finish is beautiful, blends beautifully, beautiful coverage. Highly recommend trying this concealer out if you haven't. It is incredible. Okay, next is a fashion item. This is the Marc Jacobs the tote bag. I traveled with this all summer and then I took it with me to New York for fashion week. Such a good travel bag, such a good everyday bag because now it's just like my work bag. I can grab my uniform, my shoes, like makeup to touch up, all that stuff fits in there. So, so cute. Also, someone asked me in the comments if I liked it because they were debating getting it. I absolutely absolutely love this bag. I just picked up a new pack of these. These are the Papa Wonder Blender sponges. I get these on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. They are just amazing. They're like 15 bucks for all of these. They feel honestly even better than a beauty blender. Just so soft. Get them. Like you might as well try them. They're 15 bucks for all of these. Then <laughs> They're so, so good. When I had a beauty blender and also not that much money, <laughs> because I was working like retail. I would use a beauty blender till it was just falling apart. And I wish I knew about these back then because now, you know when it's time to say the, like goodbye to your sponge, but you just don't have the heart to because they're like a million dollars. These, so, so much more hygienic. So much more hygienic with these. Okay, these are one of the things that I mentioned in my August favorites on TikTok, but I wanted to mention them here as well. They are the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadows. I absolutely love these. They are so gorgeous. You know what? Let me put one on right now. I feel like at the start of the summer, I was reaching for Space Cowboy all the time. I just loved it as a little topper. But lately, I've just been doing a very like soft glam look and going over it with Cosmic. And I absolutely love it. It looks so beautiful. I think I'm just going to go with Space Cowboy because it just matches this like peachy eyeshadow better. You know what else? I find that when I spray myself with setting spray and give it a bit of a tacky base, it just looks a little better. Yeah, I'm just picking up a fluffy brush and we're going to pat that on and it just gives such a beautiful glittery look. I hope you guys can see that. It looks really good in person, but I feel like a lot of the times the camera just does not pick it up. I do think there are some color pop dupes though. I'm waiting on them in the mail, so I'll let you know. And that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.